Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video on like summertime makeup. Um, it's been very hot and humid here where I live. So I wanted to do kind of a tutorial on kind of a light um, makeup on your face, eyes, anything where you kind of can walk out and not feel like it's melting off your face. It's not getting disturbed. It's going to last all day um, so that is what we're gonna do today um, I'm not doing anything very drastic with the eyes just kind of keeping it kind of simple um, just kind of a more natural look for that summer either laying by the pool being outside all day so that way you're just very comfortable um, anything like that so that's what we're gonna be doing today I hope you guys enjoy this video so let's get started first we are gonna start off with priming I'm gonna be using two different primers today both of these I um, really do like. I'm going to be using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. And I'm going to be using the Pore Professional Primer by Benefit. Now both of these are poreless primers so you really probably wouldn't have to use both of these. But this one is very, very kind of tacky to me. So I don't like putting it in this area where I feel like in the summer my makeup might kind of stick or... Um, cling to more in that kind of dry area. Um, I don't have very dry skin. My skin is very normal, but in the summer this area right here on my nose is where it tends to kind of get a little bit more dry just because of the heat and things like that. So I like putting the professional in this area right here. And with the professional, I do like to take it and just kind of dab it into the skin, kind of pressing it into your pores. I don't have very large pores. But I still like using a poor professional or poor primer, um, especially in the summer when I feel like they might tend to be a little bit more large. And then this one by Becca, I feel like it really helps make your makeup last and stay longer throughout the day. So that's why I like using this one in the summer and I like applying it to the rest of my face. And it is rather tacky. So I do kind of warm it up in my fingers first just to help get it to where I can kind of smooth it out. Then I'm going in and I'm actually going to mix um, two. I'm going to take my MAC Strobe Cream and I'm going to apply this um, all over my face. I'm going to be very luminous. You wouldn't have to do both of these, but I'm going to. also going in with this product here and this is an all over glow luminizing gel and I'm going to be adding this in to my foundation just because in the summer I really like to make sure that it's really luminous and has a nice glow and my foundation is the makeup forever ultra HD foundation I'm just gonna apply both of those on the back of my hand and mix them together with my beauty blender taking my artiste brush and blending this out all over my face. Then I'm going in with my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer. And I'm going to be using my beauty blender to apply this under my eyes and anywhere that you might need coverage. But I'm just going to be using it as an under eye concealer. I don't want to go too heavy. And at the moment I don't have any blemishes to cover up. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with my RCMA powder and I'm going to set those under eyes and anywhere that I added the highlight. Then I'm going to go 
in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder and I'm going to set my entire face. Then for a bronzer today, I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Then for my blush today, I'm going to be using a Makeup Geek blush, and this is their XOXO blush. Today we're going in with Mary Luminizer by The Bomb and I'm going to apply this all over the tops of my cheekbones. to our brows I'm just gonna go in with my cello brow pencil and just lightly fill them in <music> I'm gonna take my Mac, Mac prep and prime and I'm gonna spritz my face to help set all of the makeup and everything on there way it should hold throughout the day and I like doing that before I do my eye makeup because sometimes I feel like if I've already applied my mascara it tends to mess that up and today we're going to be going in with the Too Faced totally cute palette I have yet to decorate mine but I need to with all the stickers the shades in this they are super cute um, I really like how pigmented they are I've not worn them yet I've just swatched them but they are really really beautiful and very pigmented um, I really like this palette so let's get started on the eye look I really don't know what I'm going for but I guess we'll just see how it turns out so first we're gonna go in with a crease brush and this is um, by it cosmetics and I'm gonna take that ice cream cute shade right here out of this palette and apply that as a transition shade then I'm gonna go in with bunny fufu and that is that orange shade right here in that palette and I'm gonna apply that directly into my crease now these shadows are very pigmented so it does not take very much product or pressure at all I'm just gonna lightly buff that out motions until it's blended to the way you want it. Sometimes this can take a while depending on the shade you're using, but these shadows really do blend really well. I just want to make sure that it's blended evenly on both sides. I'm going to take a little bit more pointed crease brush that's just a little bit smaller and I'm going to go in with that chocolate donut shade, that really dark rich brown. And I'm going to apply that directly into the crease as much as I possibly can on the outer corner. Now I said 
said in the beginning of this video I wasn't going to do all that much shadow on the eyes, but that's obviously changed. It usually does. When I don't know what I'm going to do. And these colors are so fun. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit more on the outer Bork. corner. Okay, then I'm going to go in with Unicorn. The shade here on the bottom is the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to apply that directly onto the lid. <laughs> I'm just going to blend it into that chocolate donut shade on the outer corner. Then I'm going to go in with a blending brush and blend these out. That bunny fufu and chocolate donut and apply those on the bottom lash line. We're going to go in with that darker shade chocolate donut and apply it on the outer corners. Then I'm going to take Unicorn and apply it in the inner corner of my eye for a highlight. We're not going to apply any liner on top. I want to keep that just very open. But I'm going to take a black liner and apply that on my bottom lash line. Then we are going to take this and I decided I'm going to do a tight line but no liner on top. Then we're going to curl our lashes. And I'm going to be using the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. And I'm not going to be applying any lashes today. I'm going to keep that simple um, just because in the summertime they can kind of be uh, more comfortable. And if you're going to be outside all day, sorry that's the dog, you don't want to be wearing those. So I'm just going to buy a poke, a kick, blah, blah, blah. Apply a couple coats of this instead. I'm going to go in with my telescopic carbon black mascara and apply that on the bottom lash line. Then I'm going in with Laced by Melt Cosmetics. Don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday for more videos like this. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.